In today's video, I remove some flooring. Then Barbara opens the door. And finally, I remove even more flooring. And you won't believe what we found. Hello, it is so good to see you again. Last time we ripped apart our comfortable guest cabin to find a leak. Unfortunately, or luckily, we found only rust. So this time the search continues, including a lot of demolition before we finally find the reason for all the water aboard our ship. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. But we always had the dream to live on a traditional ship and sail the ocean. We bought a huge 82 feet ship in need of a serious refit. We want to restore her and convert her back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. Last time we found a bit of water on the beach, so we had to search for the leak. The first guess was the stuffing box, but that one was completely dry. Then we checked the through holes, but they also looked good. So the next guess was a leak in the area of the guest cabin. We ripped out all the interior and the isolation and found a lot of rust and some frames were already gone, but the hull was bone dry. So now we have to continue with the search. Here's our village of the saloon and we saw that the concrete is all wet. So we want to open the floor so that we can see where the water is coming from. Oh. Even so, we tried to stay positive on this channel and to take things not too serious and with a little bit of humor, this was a really serious situation. I mean, 40 liters of water coming in every day, that's something. And we already have spoken to the yard so they could take it out in the case of an emergency. But we really needed to figure out where the water is coming from to have a better foundation for the decision to take it out as soon as possible or if we can wait until autumn is planned. We hope to find a hatch underneath the parquet flooring, but no more secret hatches for us. Therefore, the next step was to remove the big, heavy floorboards, so we can follow the trace of the water. But first we had to remove the ladder. And move the oven, so that we can lift the floorboard. After we lifted the first board of plywood, this was a big surprise for us what we saw because we always thought that there is a gap of about 50 centimeters, but we found that there is the, the concrete that filled, fills up the, the bilge almost immediately underneath of the plywood. We know now that this is because uh, to have a flat bottom in the former fish room, there were wooden boxes on port and on starboard filled with ice and when they came back of course with with fish and the next big surprise was how good 
the condition of the concrete was. And we hope that makes it easier to put a new flooring and a new interior into this saloon area. If you enjoyed this video so far, then please hit the like button. Just as a friendly reminder that you don't forget it. Because each like makes a huge difference for us. The next big surprise that we found was the mast base of the old main mast. So the, the former main mast was stepped on the keel through the deck. And actually that's a really, really good sign because uh, it hints towards a proper sailing rig that she once had. And it should make it easier to convert her once again into the beautiful top selection as she once was. After we opened up the floor, we found a pipe. And this pipe connects the bilge in the fossil with the bilge in the saloon. And the water was coming from this pipe. So we destroyed our complete nice guest cabin and all the flooring in the saloon just to find out that the water wasn't even coming from this area. The leak had to be somewhere in the fossil. The plan is to remove the floor in the fossil so we can follow the path of the water and find the leak. One of my favorite things about publishing videos are the comments. I really enjoy reading them and I try to answer as many as possible. Every time we post a video there are so many good advices and encouraging comments. So I really want to thank you for your engagement. After we have removed the floor, we can see that there is a big puddle of water underneath of the water tank. So there are now two possibilities. Either the uh, water is coming from the water tank, because the water tank also looks really rusty. Uh, the second possibility is uh, some spot that looks wet, but it also could be just bitumen that looks always a little bit wet. So um, the next step is to remove the little bit of isolation what is there to figure out, to investigate a little bit more.
the suspicious looking spot was completely dry, so now we are almost sure that the water is coming from the water tank. However, there is a small chance that the water is coming from a leak in the hull next to the water tank. And to be absolutely sure that it isn't coming from there, we will rip out our second guest cabin. But that is all we have time for today, so to see us ripping more stuff apart, you have to wait for the next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.